All right, guys. Very good morning. Very good evening. Uh, welcome to Vismo Technologies. Uh, this is Malik Arjun here. Uh, quickly, I'm going to demonstrate on importance about what exactly what I envy, how it's going to impact for our DBA day-to-day -day activity. Right. Uh, it's already demonstrated all the steps on my blog, uh, malik034blogspot.com. You can have a look on that. Uh, I can quickly jump onto my lab exercise and I can take a look on the live demo here. So the issue what I'm talking about is what are ENV file? For example, in this Oracle lab one, let's say I have already my database and database instance is up and running. A DevDB database instance is already up and running. If I'm a DB, I want to connect to this DevDB database. So simply I log into Oracle user and I'm going to run this dot or INV. I'm going to set the environmental variable to a DevDB and I'll verify my environmental variables are set or not by running this ENV grep or a DevDB, SID and Oracle base, Oracle home is set. And then I'll be able to connect to my database as SQL plus slash sysdba, which is uh, pretty much a OS authentication. I'm able to connect to my database and I can do any administrative activities. Fine, that's fair enough. Sometimes when I run this dot or INV, it's going to say that a bash or a env no such a file directory what exactly this or env meaning where is that file is located so right now everything works fine in this lab so let's quickly simulate that issue or the scenario so if i do which or env it says as part of my oracle home installation there is a environmental variable file which will be located under user local bin or env file this is the file and if this file is corrupted or missing or something went wrong with this file. So I can quickly remove this file for a demo purpose. Let's say scenario, something happened on this file or something, somebody has removed this file. So I think it's a root permission. Let me log in with the root, exited here, root user. Let's remove this file. Let's say something happened with this file, like, you know, some OS corruption or some file corruption or this file is missing or somebody has deleted due to some OS patching or something happened. So now this file is missing and now if I log into Oracle user and now if I try to run that same dot or INV, it's not going to work. It's going to say bash or INV, no such a file directory. If I do this which or INV and which or INV will say there's no or INV file at all. Then how to deal with this one? How this or INV file, we can recreate it. So that's part of your root script execution. When you run this root.sh script, that root.sh script is going to create that file. So now I'm going to rerun that root.sh script and then that's going to pretty much go ahead and create that file. So I'm just going to copy this Oracle home. Under that, there's a root.sh file. Root file. This is part of our Oracle home installation. So if I run it, I should be running with the root user. Let's log out and log in with the root user and run this user one app Oracle product 19C DB home one root SH. It's gonna, it's gonna ask the same questions. Where is your bin local bin directory? It's same user local bin. Where it's gonna keep that or INV file again. So I'll just gonna enter and it has done. And it says uh, the TFA root.tfa file it's pretty old and uh, you have to go ahead and then install it. Right now, let's go ahead and then check it out. Here, the content of Core ENV and Ora ENV is all now placed. Now we can go ahead and then run the same command. Login back to Oracle user. And again, do the same thing, which Ora ENV. So now this Ora ENV file is back. And now we can go ahead and then run this dot Ora ENV and you're able to execute that fine. Earlier, when you run that or INV, it used to say that bash, no file, no such a file or directory because that file was corrupted or missing or something went wrong with that due to OS patching or somebody had deleted or something happened. So by just running that root.sh, you will be able to reproduce that all the environmental variable file. This is one of that. The or INV is one of that where we regularly use it. There are some other environmental variable file also will be kept as part of this root.sh.
So if you know those, what are the other environmental variable files which will be placed as part of this root.sh, please do comment in this video. So I'll be commenting it on my comment section. What are the other environmental files in this video? Thank you guys. That's it. That's all for the today's session.